Hello, I'm Dr. Matt Cap from Capitalize Education. And in this video, we're going to look at how we can use the Universal Design for Learning framework to support students to access the knowledge and skills in the Australian curriculum. Guideline three of the UDL framework reminds teachers that they need to support students with comprehension. But before they can support them with comprehension, they first need to ensure that all kids can physically access the information being taught and the teacher has clarified all language and symbols used within that information. Guideline three of the UDL framework provides some specific suggestions on how teachers can support students to engage in comprehension. Let's have a look at a specific content description from Year 7 Australian Curriculum English version 9 that relates to comprehension. Teachers teach the content descriptions to students. Teachers are required in this content description to use comprehension strategies such as visualising, predicting, connecting, summarising, monitoring, questioning and inferring to analyse and summarise information and ideas. Before we can teach this content description to students, we first need to deconstruct it by defining all key terminology and cognitive verbs. In this case, comprehension strategies, predicting, summarising, inferring and analysing. When we use the ACARA glossary from English to define comprehension strategies, we are given a very specific set of strategies to use with students to comprehend text. We also define the terms predict, infer, analyse and summarise using the ACARA glossaries. This ensures that when we teach the content description to the students, we do this accurately. Now we'll have a look at each of those specific comprehension strategies suggested by a car in relation to the Australian curriculum. The first is activating and using prior knowledge. When a teacher looks at a cover of Treasure Island with students, the teacher might ask the students what they already know about pirates. The second strategy is predicting likely future events in a text. Once again, to ensure that we are accurately teaching the content description, we need to define the key terminology using the ACARA glossaries. The teacher and students might look at this comic together from Captain America. They might look at the images and text and have a talk about what they see. Then the teacher might ask the students what they think will happen in the rest of the comic based on what they currently see. The third strategy is identifying literal information explicitly stated in the text. The cognitive verb of identify, which is taken from the ACARA glossary, is to recognise or name someone or something. This is the lowest level skill in the Australian curriculum. The teacher might read aloud this information on deforestation to the students. The students might read it themselves or the students might have an immersive reader on their laptop read it to them. Then when, whilst they engage with the text, they highlight in pink any time they come across literal information. The teacher and the students then construct a mind map of the literal information they've taken from the deforestation text. When we come back to the definition of identify, to recognise or name someone or something, this is all we need to do with the literal information in the text. The fourth strategy is making inferences based on information in the text and their own prior knowledge. The teacher might read the tale of Peter Rabbit by Beatrix Potter aloud to the class. Alternatively, the students might read it themselves or they have immersive reader on their laptops read it to them. Once again, it's important to define the cognitive verbs as a teacher to ensure that the content descriptions are being accurately taught to the students. The students and the teacher then collaboratively identify specific statements in the text, what they already know about the topic and what they think the author is arguing. The fifth comprehension strategy, according to Akara, is visualising by creating mental images of elements in a text 
summarizing and organizing information from a text. The teacher and the students engage with the text The Hobbit by J.R.R. Tolkien. The teacher and the students collaboratively identify elements of the text, create an image of the text based on their mental images, and then determine the main points of the text. The second last comprehension strategy is integrating ideas and information in text. The students and the teacher might collaboratively watch Oppenheimer together, pausing the video occasionally to talk about what they see. Using this scaffold, the teacher and the students collaboratively start to create a text together. By taking the main idea and sub ideas, the teacher and the students talk out their thoughts and create images to represent each of the um, elements of the text scaffold. The teacher and their students then collaboratively create notes based on the ideas they saw in the Oppenheimer movie. Once the students and the teacher have constructed this scaffold, the teacher and the students then collaboratively create a written text together. That text could be handwritten, typed, speech to text, or scribed in line with the definition of right from ACARA. The final comprehension strategy in the Australian curriculum is critically reflecting on content, structure, language, and images used to construct meaning in a text. The teacher and the students might collaboratively engage with an article from a magazine. The students and the teacher then identify examples from the text for each of the four elements, content, structure, language, and images. Once they've identified these examples, they talk about how they contribute to the reader understanding the meaning of the text, then populate the scaffold. Thank you for watching our video. At Capitalize Education, we support teachers to build their capacity around the use of the UDL framework to support students to overcome their barriers to the learning process.